Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry. Link in the description below. Hello, fabulous Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active sky and active. That's got a capital A on it for you. And that is because right out of the gate. In fact, as the month is finishing, last month is finishing, right as you're about to start this month, just before you start this month, Mars will move into your sign and it really is going to feel as if you have started a new chapter. Your vitality is going to start going up. It will feel as if the force is with you and this is an energy of adrenaline and enthusiasm and motivation and determination. And that is going to be with you as well. Now this is very powerful energy and there are ways to use this that are smart and that are to your advantage. Here are some things to keep in mind with this. Um, it is ultimately an energy of change when Mars enters your sign and it's asking you to take ownership for the change over which you have power over. And I like to think of Mars as connected to the serenity prayer. And so the serenity affirmation or prayer, however you understand it, is grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So those are three specific actions. And those are three actions that Mars grants you. It asks you to be more clear with yourself, to be more honest with yourself, to understand ultimately what a particular situation is calling for and to exercise your power, to exercise your agency in that direction. Are you going to exercise your power of acceptance? Are you going to summon your courage? Are you going to cultivate wisdom, actively cultivate wisdom, especially the wisdom that comes from self-knowledge and acting from that place? These are the great gifts of Mars, and Mars only enters your sign about once every two years or so. And so when it does, it really does feel as if you are on a fresh pathway and a brand new journey. Whatever your unique journey calls you towards, this is the time to listen. You've got lots of cosmic support for having your actions now go exceedingly well for a few reasons. So one is, of course, Mars in your sign. The other is right around the 14th of the month, we are going to have a supremely harmonious connection between the sun and Jupiter. So I'll talk more about this in a little bit when we start talking about love, but this to me is so fortunate for all kinds of reasons. So it really has to do with people at the end of the day. This is an energy where people facilitate big blessings, lucky breaks in your life. But how are you going to address that opportunity? What are you gonna to do to make the most of it? It is in the early part of the month, right around the fourth, that we will have a new moon that's gonna have you asking yourself these particular questions. How can you maximize the potential, the opportunity? Where is it that you can connect with others? What is it that other people are inspiring in you and how do you feel about it? It is ultimately going to be the actions and the answers you find in the early part of the month that will ensure that you make the most of this very lucky energy mid-month. Now, Jupiter will be speaking with this new moon, and that's great. That is that sense of optimism and possibility and feeling that life is on your side. Um, and hope, really, is what Jupiter brings most of all. But we've also got Saturn and Pluto speaking in conversations of tension with that new moon. Now, that new moon is taking place in a part of the sky that has to do with friendships, it has to do with groups that you belong to. And this does suggest that it is gonna be other people that uh, are about riding a very interesting wave for you. Okay, so on the one hand, some people may be part of helping you to cultivate greater wisdom and in a practical way, more opportunity in your life. However, it is also possible that there may be some people there where it feels like those connections are stressful or it feels like there's some power dynamics, even power games playing out that may not necessarily feel comfortable to you. 
This is not the time, especially around the new moon, to mix friends and money. I would strongly advise that even taking financial advice from a friend, um, it may not be the best time to do that. However, for all of that, we do have here real opportunities for you to get honest with yourself about how it is that you have changed, how it is that you are changing, what it is you know to be true about yourself and where it is that you are ready to be different in the world, but also with others as well. That will be part of your truth seeking mission in the early part of the month. Now, by the time we get later into the month with the full moon that takes place right around the 19th, we are also going to have the end of Mercury retrograde season. So it was late last month that Mercury went direct. However, it might not have felt that way right away because of a very active Neptune uh, hanging out with Mercury in the sky. By the time we get to that full moon, the Mercury shadow is over and Mercury will change signs moving into the part of the sky where this new moon is, moving into the part of the sky where we also had um, that beautiful connection just a few days earlier between the Sun and Jupiter. And I would also add what is also going to happen as Mercury changes signs is that Venus will change signs as well. And Venus is going to move into this friendship part of your sky. And so whatever dynamics or difficulties or uncertainties might be there with a friend in the early part of the month, by the time we get to the middle of the month, you're either better understanding it, understanding what direction in which you find true alliances, true connections, true friendship, and the blessings start to pay off as a result of the distinctions that you make as you navigate the early part of the month. Now, speaking of that full moon right around the 19th, if you remember last month, we had a full moon as well. That happened right around the 21st of March. And it was in the same part of the sky that the full moon will be in now. So last month we had a full moon in a part of the sky that had to do with what the heart truly desires in just about every area of life. Now that includes, of course, romantically, we'll talk about that a little later, um, but it has to do with personally as well, in terms of living a life that you really love, that you feel aligns with your passions, in terms of your own creativity and your creative fulfillment, and in terms of uh, children as well are covered here. So children you have and children that you want. Now last month's full moon took place at the very beginning of its sign. This month we will have a rare second full moon in the same part of the sky. However, it's at the very end of its respective sign. And what that means is whereas last month there was that sense of fruition and culmination that a full moon brings, there was also a sense of a beginning as well. This month, it really is going to feel like there are powerful closures and there's a certain emotional intensity that is going to be here at this time with this month's full moon. And so all these areas I mentioned are gonna come very much into focus. Uh, chances are you are gonna be asking yourself what you truly need to feel happier, to feel more fulfilled, and how it is and where it is that you're ready to create meaningful change so that that can happen for you. At the same time though, this may also be a time where you are focusing more on matters of fertility and children and considering where it is and how it is you can be truly effective in that aim to realize whatever your ultimate goals are. If you have children, how you can be the most effective parent. If it has felt as if your child has been uh, ongoing in a particular matter that you've been hoping for a resolution, well, it can be this particular full moon that helps you in that so that you truly feel like your child and you and your child as well are on better footing. If it is children that you want, this is gonna be a time where matters related to that come into focus. This is a very fertile full moon, so keep that in mind as well. You can use that energy to your advantage, but if it is not necessarily something that you are uh, thinking about or hoping to align with, then there are other ways you can use this energy. But yes, just know fertility tends to be pretty high when we have a full moon, especially a full moon like this, taking place in this part of the sky, having to do with fertility and children. 
Now let's talk about love because love is an interesting space for you, not only because of this full moon, but also because of the activations of Jupiter in your opposite sign, which tells me that other people, your alliances with others are gonna be key parts of some of the blessings that find you now. These could be business alliances, right? So just outside of love, consider this energy in terms of the business alliances you have, professional one-on-one uh, -on -one relationships. They can bless your life in all kinds of ways with even bigger opportunities with a sky like this. However, for those of you who are using this energy more in terms of love or in addition to the ways I mentioned, also in terms of love, if you're open to meeting someone new, it really is going to be the full moon late in the month that is the most powerful energy in that regard. It could feel like there's you know, some promising developments there mid-month thanks to that connection between the sun and Jupiter, but it ultimately is going to be where it is that you are enjoying yourself that you're able to make the most meaningful connections. But here's the thing, in some way, what is happening this month in love around that full moon will hearken to what did happen last month because it was last month, full moon, same part of the sky, flirtatious, romantic moon at that. And so it could be that someone that you met, uh, perhaps they made an impression, perhaps they didn't, but now in some way they pop up again around the full moon this month. Uh, it can also be that this is a time when you are feeling like you want to enjoy your life. There's a desire to connect with others. And that's going to mean that you are uh, a little bit more open, whether it's to flirtation or doing things that allow you to actually uh, have your guard down enough so that love or the possibility of love, the interest of love can start to take shape. For those of you who are getting to know somebody, this can be a very powerful time if you're getting to know someone because it is really all about truth beyond what it is that you hope for. All that Jupiterian energy is your hopes. However, it is this full moon that is going to bring the truth of what you feel with a certain intensity very much to the surface. And that will either mean that you will be feeling that much more connected to this person or not. Now, the thing to remember also with this full moon is that it is standing across the sky from Uranus with some mathematical precision, not by sign. It's not what astrologers call an opposition by sign. It's not a true opposition. However, when you look at the, what we call an orb, how exact the conversation is, absolutely Uranus is standing across the sky from this full moon. Uh, some of the insight, some of the behavior may feel like a revelation. Um, and it could also be that it feels as if this person is behaving in ways that are a little bit erratic as well. But this is ultimately about helping you to understand how you really feel. Is this something you want to continue? Things can move very quickly with this energy. So either you're gonna be like all in, you may be thinking about eloping or something, or it could be that a very shocking or surprising moment makes you go, oh my goodness, let's uh, put on the brakes here for a moment. Regardless, it will reveal some truth and that truth can change the pace of the two of you going forward. And for those of you who are in an established bond, I feel like the energy this month is so uh, important with Jupiter in particular. As much as that full moon is going to matter, uh, it is fun. It, is, uh, it has a sense of emotional truth to it. It is ultimately those in an established bond that are going to find that Jupiter to be that much stronger and Jupiter to be that much more of a stabilizing influence. And this really is a month that can heal all kinds of things, whatever has been before, whether it you know felt like there were some questions, whether it irked you, whether uh, it disappointed you, this is a month where uh, true healing can transpire and a sense of shared enthusiasm for the path ahead can find you as well. Now, as part of this, there may be that need for an emotional moment of truth, especially for you and considering what you really feel about a particular situation. But at the end of the day, with Jupiter blessing your opposite sign, the way that Jupiter is this month, it is ultimately about unifying the two of you that much more and helping the two of you feel more excited and enthusiastic about what's coming up ahead. What I love about this month for you, look, there's so much here. It is an active astrological month. However, 
I have to say, if I had to choose one thing, I would say that Mercury leaving shadow is a pretty big deal, okay? Mercury is a ruling planet. It's been a doozy of a Mercury retrograde season, especially last month. Mercury retrograde season actually started in February. And then you add to this all the energy of people, people wanting to be there, support you, spend time with you, to lift you, to inspire you, to be the bearers of wisdom and to remind you of your own wisdom. Well, this is a month where you will not be feeling alone, that's for sure. Just a little bit of awareness, even a little bit of willingness may or may not be required for you to know that you are well loved and well cared for by many. The fact that Mercury leaves shadow, well, it's gonna help you to recognize it that much more as you start to feel more and more like you. And with Mars, step more and more into your power. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. The superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.